so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket in the previous videos we have already compared rtx 4090 with 5090 cpu versus tesla t4 rtx 4090 rtx 5090 and h100 and in the third series of this gpu comparison for ai we are comparing nvidia h200 versus nvidia h100 these are two heavyweight gpus which are majorly used for pre-training of llms by big tech companies so this time we are comparing these two and let's check out who is the ultimate winner so if you don't know nvidia h200 is a latest gpu that was released by nvidia somewhere around late 2023 or early 2024 what i remember while h100 has been in the town for a good time now and both of them are primarily used for pre-training and should not be used for smaller purposes because these are very heavyweight gpus so in this particular speed test what i did i created three experiments and then tried to check out the time taken by these two gpus on those experiments so let's get started let's see the results so as you can see our first script on h200 is here where you can see nvidia h200 is visible in the system and the first task is inferencing Quen 3 8 billion model. So what we are doing in this experiment is we are running Quen 3 8 billion 100 times. And then checking out how much time did H200 and H100 takes for the same config. So let's get started. I have already executed the experiment so that we don't need to spend any time in the video. The codes remain the same in both the cases. I am not going into explanation of the codes. But the prompt code, everything is similar here. Give me a short introduction to large language models. Keep it very short, one line only. Here you can see that the time taken for 100 iterations of Quen 3 8 billion is just 94 seconds. Yes, you heard it right. It is taking less than one second. Now, checking out with H100, how much time did it take for the same experiment? As you can see, this is a script for H100. Everything remains the same except the GPU. NVIDIA H100 as you can see here is visible in my system. Now when I ran the same experiment on H100 inferencing of Quen 3 8B model, you can see the time taken is about 242 seconds which is quite huge. That is about 2.5 seconds per iteration. That means H200 is about 3 times faster than H100 which is just amazing because on the online documents it says that h200 is about 30 to 40 times faster than h100 but the results are saying something else this is a big big breakthrough if this is true now moving on to our next experiment so here you can see that we are back on the h200 script and gpu visible is nvidia h200 as you can see here this time we are trying to summarize articles using t5 large so if you don't know, T5 large is an LLM by Google of about 700 million parameters. It's quite huge. So take it as an inferencing only, but for smaller LLM. So Quen 38B was a medium size LLM. T5 large can be taken as a smaller LLM. So this time also we took about 100 iterations and then try to check out how much time is taken. So for Summarizing 100 articles using T5 large, NVIDIA H200 took about just 45 seconds. This is crazy timing, less than a half second for summarizing each article. Now going to H100 script, here you can see that NVIDIA H100 is visible now in the screen. And when running the experiment, summarizing articles, everything is same. The model is same, the articles are same. Just the GPU has deferred and the time taken is about 60 seconds. So I think in this particular case, NVIDIA H200 is looking to be following the same benchmarks mentioned on the internet about 30 to 40 times faster than NVIDIA H100. Now going towards our last experiment, the most surprising one, because I was assuming H200 to top on this as well, but that didn't happen. So... So our last experiment that is fine tuning distal BERT, we would be doing the same task with both the GPUs H200 as well as H100 on a data set of about 7.5k samples running it for 5 epochs as you can see number of train epochs is 5 
and surprisingly the time taken by nvidia h200 here is 141 seconds this is too much because i think nvidia rtx 4090 was also taking almost the same time a little a few seconds more but the capabilities are way way more higher for h200 so i think in case of fine tuning i am a little disappointed with nvidia h200 now let's check out the same metrics for nvidia h100 so fine tuning distill but experiments remains the same and this time it took just 46 seconds for five epochs this is crazy timing and in fine tuning of distill but if you notice nvidia h100 is about three times faster than nvidia h200 which is a little mind boggling for me also but i think this is the same case as we were discussing in uh, the comparison of rtx 4090 and 5090 the hardware is latest but not the softest so it might be the case that the fine tuning libraries that we are using might not be optimized for h200 that's just my assumption but i think these are the benchmark numbers that i ran the experiment and i got so before we end up let's talk a little about the theoretical differences why h200 is superior to h100 this was the experiment that we ran and other details about the gpus so we would be now giving some theoretical differences between nvidia h200 with h100 they are talking about first of all the similarities they follow the same hopper architecture in terms of architecture and hardware they are mostly the same they differ on the memory side that i will tell you and primarily used for pre-training and inferencing of massive llms overkill for small models that what i mentioned it might be the case that distal bud being small hence h200 is not giving its full performance in the th last experiment talking about the key differences the memory type differs a bit here though the architecture is same the memory used by h200 is faster capacity of one h200 is almost double memory bandwidth is better inference speed as mentioned it's about 1.4 to 1.6 times faster than h100 efficiency great better for memory heavy task widely available i think h100 is available but h200 is rare we are able to get our hands on it and talking about the price i think h200 is the most expensive gpu and h100 itself is quite expensive so with this we will wrap this experiment i hope you got to understand the difference between the latest gpus we have for pre-training and how their latency differs on different tasks thank you so much